Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. And guess what? I have both my rear pieces molded up. I have my parting planes done for my center section. And I'm getting ready to lay it up. I want to show you guys what I had to do back here. I had to make these out of tin and bend them around because that's kind of rounded in there and uh, I had to bring my parting plane down to the bottom because it's wider down here than it is in the center and if I would have made my plane in the center it would have locked that piece in on the bottom so I had to curve them down to the shape of uh, so the fuselage but we got her figured out I got all my parting planes on, but I uh, wanted to tell you guys something. I started having a hard time with that glue gun. It, uh, I don't know if it, the weather got kind of chilly out, and I just had a hard time. By the time I started gluing down here, and I'd get down here, my glue was already cooled down there, and I'd put it on, it just wasn't working right. So what I did is I got me some clay and uh, I used the clay and my glue gun and uh, I would really believe that is the way to do that what I did is I put my clay on the edge of my parting plane you see how it's kind of angled up and uh, it's flush with the front and kind of angled up on the back side put that all along there kind of use four fingers and use these two to smash it and use the other two and just kind of roll it like that it really didn't take long. Then I set them on my little shelves I made that's hot glue gun to the fuselage. Put them on there and clamped it and kind of tapped them with a hammer. And uh, just kind of worked it in, took my heat gun and kind of heated it up. Didn't get it hot, just kind of warmed it up. Took my hammer, kind of tapped it in while my clamps was holding it. And when I got it where I wanted, I just went under there with my hot glue gun glued it all in place, took a razor blade, we'll cut that clay off and it is just super nice corners super nice, I really believe that's the way to do these things so in there I had to come up from Micah back and put a piece of plastic on there I had to do that same tin trick on this side and uh, it's looking pretty good and I believe it's going to work everybody so here it is Friday evening and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my mold release on here and then I'm going to come in and put my corner bead in and I'm going to do that before I go to bed then I'm going to set my alarm clock for the middle of the night well, about four in the morning I'm going to turn my heater off in the garage that will kind of slow this process down so I can get a little sleep tonight I'm going to put my corner bead in now I'm going to go in there and go, I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to get up about 4 in the morning and uh, put my first coat of surface, my surface coat on and then I'm going to go in there and go back to bed then I'm going to get up about 9 o'clock and uh, hopefully by about 11, 12 I'll be able to start putting glass on it and uh, have it finished up and Sunday I'll be ready to flip this thing upside down and the bottom is just going to be three pieces so and I won't have all these parting planes to make because remember once I get these done this top on I'll take my parting plane off and then I use my fiberglass piece for my parting plane on my other side so I'm only going to have two little parting planes to make on the bottom so my bottom will go a lot faster so if I get it flipped up uh, upside down Sunday, I can start working on the bottom next week. And I should have this thing done in the next week. I hope so. I can't wait to get a few slots busted out. But that's where I am. And I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and let you know where I am. And uh, I'm going to keep trucking along. And I'm going to get this center section laid up this weekend. 
and the next time you see it it will be upside down but I will keep you guys informed let you know what's going on and how we're doing and if I come up with any new tricks I'll be sure to let y'all know so you guys have a nice weekend and we will see you in the shop